So let's talk about how all this is connected then for me to have a kettle in here. We'll talk about how I've wired it all in and how I've got electricity to put all this in. Um, how I can monitor my battery level, all that stuff coming up. For now, we need to get some work done, so let's go. Welcome to my channel. My name is Liam. I am a truck driver. At the moment, I am in a field waiting to get loaded for sugar beet. Waiting for a gap space down there. Um, yeah, so this is where I live, work, play, cook, eat, sleep, you name it. So I sleep, I sleep in my truck about four nights a week, three to four nights a week, um, to try and get as much work done as possible. Um, currently doing, today, currently doing Sugar Beat. It's the first time me actually doing this job um, on my own. I went with someone a few weeks ago. He kind of showed me the ropes while I was a passenger. You know, so I'm kind of learning the job as I go along now. So, just waiting for a space down there. Then I can go down and get loaded. Then I can go to the sugar factory. Um, yeah, and then we'll go from there. Uh, I'll show you the footage when I get down there. Until then, if you've not already hit the sub button, guys, really appreciate it. Hit the, yeah, hit the sub button, guys. If you're not already, follow me on TikTok and Instagram as well. Put me your handles down here. Um, I am new to this. You know, my... Annoyingly, my media mod broke. And it's broken. I don't know if it's broke, I don't know if it's the GoPro, they're not they're not pairing together, they're not working, I don't know why, I've Googled everything, so the audio might not be great. It's probably not bad now, because there's no sound, there's no you know ambient noise outside. This is what you're gonna see of me on a day-to-day -day basis, just doing my job. Um, if you're an inspiring truck driver or you are interested in the trade, sorry, I keep looking down there, I need to know when there's space available. You have an inspiring truck driver, or, or or you're just interested in the trade? Um, yeah, follow my channel. This is you know, what I do, um, and you'll see me. Oh, I'll cook, I'll eat, I'll play, I'll watch TV, I'll play computer games. I, you know, I do it all. Um, it's my home away from home. So I'll wait here for now, and I'll come back to you in a minute. Here we are, guys. Getting loaded. We are on the move. We put in about 28 tonne trailer weight. It should be about just under 44 tonne when I get there. We'll find out for sure. If I can put a bit more in next time, I'll put a bit more in if I obviously need less, I know now. It's my first time doing it. So, lessons are to be learned as we go along. Um, so now we're heading over to British Sugar in Whissington and we are going to load there. Uh, well, we're going to unload there so not much to see other than driving and it's getting well it's getting lighter but it's still pretty dark so I will come back to you when we get to British Sugar in Whissington to get this offloaded I'm hoping to do three or four loads today because it's only an hour and 20 minutes each way so we'll see I'll come back to you when we get there right we are almost at British Sugar I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing when I get in there. So this is all new to me. Going to wing it, hope for the best. So let's go. I have literally, I'm not joking, never been in here before. Um, So let's go and have a look. Let's just drive down this lane. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. How do I speak to someone? I, uh, I need a grower card, please. 
and I've also never been into this one before. I've been into Berry only. Have so, you got your um, vehicle card? Check that out. 43 tonne, not bad. Not bad for guesswork, is it? Okay, hold on one sec. There's your vehicle card. The new one? Yeah, the new one. Do I just chuck the old one away then? Yeah, this one worth. Should I scan it again? Shall I? Or? Uh, yes, please. Well, I just got the small one. I'll tell you, there's no checks. Yeah, no checks. Straight through the non-sample. Non-sample area in the corner. idea what I'm doing when lights proceed to wash when you're literally winging it and you have no idea what to do I'm just kind of like following the flow of the traffic and hoping for the best um, yeah I generally don't know guys I'm just gonna wait for my time in the front and just watch and follow the flow all right we're just Pull on the way bridge to weigh out. We are, I think, coming into load two. Oh. We get like I told you, we get like a, a pin drop. We get like a pin drop for location, and it really is out in the middle of nowhere with this sugar beet. Um, I guess they can't cart it anywhere, so they just cart it in the middle of the field, and we drive to the field. It's really <laughs> boggy. I am so glad it's not like pissing down with rain because I'd be stuck. No joke. But there we go. There's the uh, the machine coming up. Oh my god, I'm bogging. I'm sliding already. I'm my my truck is sliding. This is crazy. I have to go as slow as I can because. There we go, that's all the sugar beet we're collecting, guys. So we'll be up here quite a few times, no doubt. There we go, that's the sugar beet. That's the machine that puts it on the back of us. We'll get a bit closer, you can have a look. According to my according to my trailer it weighed in at 27.8 was 28 last time but I put in add blue earlier so I don't know I just wanted to make sure I'm not overweight at all yeah bad to be sugar and that is what I do guys like today I am doing collecting the load of this I'm taking it to British sugar I'm coming back I'm collecting a load I'm taking it to British sugar I'm taking a load that's how British sugar make sugar. And that's how, you know, they can sell it to chocolate factories. And that's how you get your chocolates and your sugar for your cups of teas and, you know, your biscuits and your cakes. This it all comes from, all comes from the fields. And it's all transported through us. And here we are, round two. Just waiting in queue to get delivered. So that's job number two, hoping to get three done today. So get back, get loaded, get back here again. I think I'm gonna put the kettle on. There we go, this is the best thing about this. Got this Geronic kettle. There you go, I'll turn it on and I'll get going. And when I've done, I'll just keep the warm button. So if I push the keep warm button, by the time I get to the farm to reload, it'll still be warm enough for another brew without actually reboiling it. So, get a kettle on, wait in this queue, moving forward a tiny bit, and then uh, get unloaded, and then we can get back on the road again. Right, kettle's just boiled. Let's make a bit of coffee.
happy days. Well, we're waiting here anyway. Waiting to get unloaded. I'll do the window up. Happy days then, guys. Waiting to get unloaded. Got a cup of coffee. What more do I want, eh? Right, let's get this done. Let's get back up the road. Here we are. Load free. Getting loaded now. Shouldn't take me too long, we're back on the road again. And we are loaded. I'll tell you what, I am wheel slipping. This is mental. The mud, I am wheel slipping like crazy right now. But we are loaded, 28 uh, ton and 50 kilos. So we should still be under 44, which would be nice. Head back down there now, but I need a break. I've only got an hour's worth of driving before I need a break. Um, three hours for the rest of the day. I could do another two hours so I can get back, but I don't think that guy, the loader, will be here in, like, well, he's not gonna be there in four hours. It's three o'clock now. So All right, guys. So we have a change of plan. Um, I was gonna get to British Sugar for 10 past five, um, only to be told British Sugar closed at five o'clock. Uh, not the end of the world. Um, Silver lining is Glover Road Haulage, who I drive for, are based are around the corner from British Sugar. I'm um, talking six, seven minute drive, if that. So, it is now caught past five. Um, I am going to go home tonight. Yeah, tomorrow I'm going to show you how I've connected this up, how I've got electric to all my appliances in here. Um, but for now then, for now then, uh, I'm gonna go home. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, so it's on the light. Oh, it's a bit bright. Right, it is, what time is it? I don't know. It is 4.51. So I am like five minutes from British Sugar. So I'm gonna boil the kettle, have a coffee, quickly do a lights check and get going. Here we are, collection number one for the day i am like second or third in queue let's get this loaded unless there's any problems i'll come back to you if not back on the road to deliver number one see you in a minute all right we're just putting off now to get fuel at the fuel station um then we're gonna get back on the road again tank of fuel and away we go back to the farm rock it up now on load number two loading number two not much to go now guys uh, I don't know if there'll be a load three maybe there will maybe there won't um, get load two off and then we'll work out timings and stuff um, it's good to get straight under and there's no queue. Okay, now load two. Uh, I've just been informed that there isn't enough, there isn't enough sugar beet there for a third load. So they're saying call it a day after I've done this load two. Um, ideal, get back nice and early, get this trailer wa uh, truck washed down and um, show you how all my electrics are connected and how I get electricity. <sighs> Hi guys, we are now parked up for a break at the side of the road it's 11 35 i'm not going to get there before my time finishes look i've only got 52 minutes so i'll have a 45 it's back on break um i'm gonna cook some lunch in my truck um i was gonna have this for dinner last night but i went home instead so i'm gonna whack it up and have a quick lunch with it and have a little quick chicken stir fry Here we are, get the walk out, we'll get some chicken out, brown some chicken off, and then we're gonna get in the fridge. Here we go. All right, got some noodles, um, chicken. There we go, stir fry, but we'll do this, we'll do the chicken first, get this all cooked up, get that in, and then we can start it. There you go. So that's dinner cooking. That's, sorry, that's lunch cooking. Uh, let's put some TV on 
We are only like 10 minutes into this break now. We'll put some TV on, chill out. Um, the chicken's the longest part. The, the news on the veg only takes a few minutes each. The longest part is the chicken making sure that's cooked. Keep the window open. See all the smoke going out the window? Beautiful, that's exactly what it should do. Tiny air flow from there. Big window open there and it flows straight out. Looking good, looking good. did all this within 30 minutes. That's how long I've been here. Nope. Uh, 12, well, 12 minutes left. Maybe you should. Yeah, I did it all within 32 minutes. So I'm gonna eat my lunch, watch some TV, and uh, we'll get back on the road. Called Leonard because I failed. Yeah. Right, let's get back on the road. 42 minutes I've been here. So there we go, not long at all. At load two. Let's get this tip, let's get back to the yard, let's give this clean. Let's show you how this is wired up. Yard. I'm just waiting on wash, someone else is washing their, their unit just there. So while they're washing theirs, I'm gonna do some time sheets and some paperwork. It's gotta be done anyway. So I'll do that while I'm waiting for him to finish, then I'll get out and wash mine. And uh, yeah, we're pretty much done for the day. Wash, clean the inside. I do like to do have a weekly clean on a Friday. So it's nice and fresh for Monday. Strip the bed, so I get clean bedding for next week. Yeah, and then um, outside and in, type paperwork, job done. And there we have it, one clean-ish truck. I mean, it's been doing farm work. I mean, it's been doing farm work all weekend, it's so not gonna be spectacular. I think I'm on farm work again next week. So my effort is in vain in theory, but I can't let it get that bad. I mean, I hate the look of a dirty truck, so bit of pride and all that like you know so oh yeah a bit of pride not like well I'm gonna give the inside a bit of a clean now then I'm gonna park this bad boy up okay how do I get electricity into this truck so I can play my games so I can cook so I can watch TV okay so you're not gonna be able to get a good view but that is an inverter I'm using. It's a 3,000 watt modified shine wave inverter. That draws back power from the batteries into the inverter, which then converts it to power that I can use to run household appliances. So mine is powered in with the red and the black, and it goes into a gap down there which then obviously you've got the side locker outside which then comes in through the bottom of there and then down under here which is then under the cab then it's plugged in to the Anderson lead which is then powered directly to the batteries. You don't need an Anderson lead. It's better, it's more convenient. You don't need one, you can power it straight to the batteries, the inverter itself. But Anderson lead works good. These trucks have Anderson leads because I'm pulling a bulker and a bulker needs an Anderson lead anyway to work the cover. 
So that is how I am powering all this. Through an extension lead runs under my flooring mat, which then goes into my sockets, which then will power the kettle. I run another extension lead up to the back of the TV, the back of the TV, the Alexa and everything else. Now you saw how I'm getting power from the batteries. Let's check out the TV situation. Right, if you don't mind wires, you're not gonna mind this. <laughs> right, let's try and get some light down there. Okay, so as I was saying before, the extension lead runs up from the inverter into this extension lead here with loads of sockets. I've got the Alexa here, TV, Xbox, uh, them, and the one on the other side is for my, oh, is for my light. Um, that's powered by USB. Um, yeah, so then that is how I am wiring all this up. I'll hide all that, that tucks under there. Put the cushion over and then the famous IKEA cushion sits underneath. Ah, you can't see it. There you go. Turn on my Xbox or my fire stick, etc. And then I'll sit in bed and then just watch TV at night and I'll cook my food. I turn this this way, upside down. So when I'm cooking, for instance, and I'm running this hob, rather than run the electric, so it's that way, to see how the wire will bend. Obviously nice and easy, in it goes. How do I monitor my power? Right, monitor my power to how much I'm using is really easy. So the inverter I got comes with this little device. Then you can see it, tells you how many watts I'm running. Don't forget, the inverter is 3000 watts, so I can't go anything over that, or even 2.9 is the limit, ideally. So let's, for instance, put the kettle on. Now that draws a hell of a lot of power. We'll see. Look, kettle goes on. Straight away, two and a half thousand watts. There you go, I'll turn that off. Yeah, so two and a half thousand watts. So I can either have the kettle on, oh, and I can have the TV on and stuff as well. The hob, the Duronic hob that I've got, let's give that a kick up. Don't forget, I'm running 80 watts at the moment because I've got the TV on. TV is running 80 watts. So I'm gonna leave that on because that's not really, uh, actually, should we turn it off? Hang on, okay, let's turn it off. Oh. There we go, we'll turn the TV off. Move the kettle out of the way. There we go, look. 20, uh, sorry, zero watts. Now, if I was to run this hub, if I was to run the big one, 15, just under 1500 watts. If I ran them both, four max, 2300 watts. Let's turn these off. So that is how I'm monitoring how much power I'm using. Now, do the batteries run dry? Yes, they can. Yes, I have to have the engine on when I'm running a really high appliance for a long time. If I'm running the hobs or if I'm running my air fryer, I have to have my engine on. Um, the battery level, the battery level is this here, 25.5 volts. If that goes to about 23.8, I'm not gonna get the engine starting. It needs 23.8 or above to get the engine started. So if I wake up in the morning after I've run the microwave up there, or I've run the kettle, had a, had a brew at night or watch TV, I'll get up in the morning, I'll check the wattage. Um, if it needs an engine start, you know, I'll give it a start, tick over. I've never run out of power. I've always monitored how much power I'm using. So there we go. That is how I'm monitoring my power. That is how I've connected my TV. That's how I run my hobs. That's how I run my kettle. I don't know if you can tell, but I like the Duronic brand. I've got the kettle. I've got the hobs. 
is Duronic. A grill, barbecue grill, Duronic. My air fryer, Duronic. I have a blender, Duronic. If you're a truck driver yourself and you're looking to run all this stuff as well, get a 3000 watt inverter. A 2000 watt's not gonna cut it. You can't run the hobs, not both of them at the same time. You can't run the kettle. Um, you're not gonna be able to run the air fryer. 3000 watt is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need 24 volts so it runs off both batteries, not just one. Yeah, and then get the shine wave as well if you don't if you want it. it monitors that or get something or get an inverter like that so you can monitor it yourself and get Duronic brands. They never break down, they work all the time, they're perfect, and they work great with my inverter. So it's an expense because you've got to buy everything new again. Well, you don't have to, I mean, you can use whatever brand you want, but you know, I'm just letting you know what I've used, and you can use the same without any problems. You know, rather than getting something you don't know will work or not. I've done the try and testing for you. So that's me then guys, I have finished. I'm gonna go strip my bed now. Um, I'm gonna turn all my electrics off and put my hubs away. I am gonna call it a day. Thanks for watching my video. I, ha I hope it's been informative. I hope to see you on the next one. Right, hit the sub, hit the like, appreciate it guys. Hope it's been entertaining. Until next time, stay safe.